with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it. Chelsea zero, Arsenal one. I'm so disappointed. I'm so, I'm so disappointed. I, I, I want to give some of the reasons as, as to why I think we lost this game today. But before I, I give my, 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 my reasons as to why, uh, let me just state my frustrations. I don't understand why a club can suck a coach claiming that they are bringing in a new coach who has a different opinion and a different approach to football. But again, he plays with the same system, with the same players in the same positions. I don't really understand why. Then there is no new approach. There is no new philosophy. Maybe you can say uh, he's going to build the team over time. But then we could have sacked the other coach. Maybe we could have waited a little longer, get the same results, be frustrated the same way. But again, we, we can say you are the same person. But when we have a new person in the house who keeps playing the same way and we keep losing, I don't really understand why you should do that. Arsenal 1, Chelsea 0. Funny enough, for the first time since, since I became a Chelsea fan, today was the first time after I saw the lineup, I went watching, I, I went watching the game knowing that we we're going to lose this game. So I, will, um, I don't know, I don't know. It's not a good feeling. I have never walked into a room wo going to watch a game knowing that we are likely going to lose. The chances of us winning were very slim and it's so disappointing because we are uh, we are a big team we are a big team i believe in the, in london we are the biggest team in the recent years so it's so disappointing so some of the reasons as to why i think uh chelsea lost the game today number one was uh arsenal was too good arsenal was too good today i have to give credit to where it's due Arsenal were everywhere. The players were everywhere. Anytime we kick the ball anywhere, Arsenal had all the ch had, I guess, sixty or seventy percent chances of winning that ball. I don't know whether we were playing for a draw. I don't know, but Arsenal were like, you know, Manchester City won yesterday, so we have to win today. I think Arsenal were very good today. They were man marking very nicely. They were everywhere. Their passes. I like how they pass the ball. They could see each other. They pass so fast. When, when they get the ball, they, fa they pass so quickly, so fast. Eh? In Kenya, they say, Ki champion. <laughs> yeah. So I, 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 was, I, I, I have to give credit to Arsenal. They were too good. Reason number two was we used a bad formation against Arsenal. Arsenal are very lethal in attacking. They have Martinelli, they have Bukayo Saka, they have Gabriel Jesus, they have Odegaard. Odegaard is so talented. I don't know how I, Odegaard is too good. Odegaard, I, I really wish even Chelsea could uh, try in the market and look for players like Odegaard, like De Bruyne, like Ozil. You know, we miss such players like Fabregas. What they get is too good. So I think uh, we used a bad formation. A back three is not a good formation to play against Arsenal because they are, they are lethal in attacking. So you could see Kukurela was struggling against Bukayo Saka so much. He fouled him many times. Even the first three free kicks were uh, Kukurela fouling Bukayo Saka. You, you could see he was struggling and Arsenal could tell where our weak point was so they utilized the chance to make us get frustrated. So I really think we used a bad formation against Arsenal. We could at least use the back four where we could at least see uh, our midfield getting more involved in the ball than using the wings. Uh, we, uh, we tried as we could you, you you could see Sterling. We thought Sterling could be hazard-like, you know, one-on-one -on -one passing the players, but not really. Uh, the third reason as to why I could say that is uh, Chelsea, <laughs> who 
our our man marking skills were too poor we were not man marking anybody we were just running towards the ball sometimes away from the ball some i don't know we, we were just running in the field we were just running up and down up and down the ball is that way we run the ball is that way we run so i don't really think we were man marking as properly as arsenal was doing because if you could see any time we could even pass the ball to our player it was so likely that an Arsenal player could win that ball. Our passes were not accurate. It was a very bad game today. So I think we were not man marking very well. Uh, number four. I don't know if it's biasness, but I don't know why Sterling keeps playing. I don't. I don't know if I am the only person who sees this. But I don't know why Sterling keeps playing. I really wish Adzonodoy could come back uh, at the end of the season. Then he would fill that position. But I don't know why we keep playing Sterling. Sterling keeps losing the balls any time. Each and every time Sterling loses the ball. Each and every time Sterling loses the ball. Can't pass properly. Keeps falling down. He doesn't even check who is behind him before... He, he, he thinks whether he could pass or stay with the ball. I think Sterling is so poor. It's only that he came from Man City. But I feel like he's just like any other person playing football. Like I can pass, I can pass. No one-on-ones. Oh, I don't know why. Another player who I don't really understand why he keeps playing is Loftus Cheek. Loftus, we have Galaga. We can play Galaga. Galaga is too strong. Galaga has a very high working rate. He, 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 I think he has he has gas, so he can run at least for 70 minutes continuously and having nice pace. He is stronger. He doesn't fall down easily. Uh, uh, he's so good with and without the ball, so I don't really understand why we keep playing Loftus stick instead of players like Galaga or even Zakaria. Yeah. Zakaria played one game against Dynamo Zagreb and I really think it was so nice. It was so good. I don't think I don't know if he was injured, but I don't know if he was injured, but he was too good in that game. So I don't know why we keep playing Loftus Cheek. Uh another player I can say I don't really understand why we play him. Okay, I can say we can give uh, Abu Mayang a chance. Maybe he doesn't get the balls. Nobody gives him service. Maybe he can wait until Rhys James is okay so that he can be playing properly. But uh, Harvard, Harvard, I don't know why again we keep playing Harvard. We could use other options. We could place Mount in, in a position of Harvard. Then instead of playing Harvard, we can put Amando Broja and Abu Mayang. But sometimes we really need Harvard because he is lethal. Sometimes he can do things one or two, but not every single time because I think we need a change. Uh, he, is, he doesn't look really confident in front of goal right now. So I think we could play Amando Broja and Abu Mayang sometimes in front. So we can even use a formation of 4-4-2, which will see us more active in the midfield or many players in the midfield which is a very nice thing which is what we really need right now we don't need to use the wings i don't really think so so Harvard, sterling and lofter stick i don't know no, why we keep playing them uh and the formation that we use of back a back three makes kukurela so bad so poor uh, i i was supposed to mention that we don't play good players we are playing bad players in the name of experience you don't know why we don't keep playing good players why we don't play good players so that we can win the games even arsenal had to eliminate the bad players even though they were older like pepe like Aubameyang. they even eliminated lacazette they had to bring in now martinelli uh, play more of Bukayo Saka, play more of Odegaard, play more of Saliba. Now, th th their team now became a better team. Uh, and also, they did new additions, little ones of Zinchenko, Jesus. Yeah. So, 
The other reason as to why I think we lost this game is injuries to our star players. It's more of an excuse, but I really think it's a reason. I can put it as a, I can put it forward as a reason because the injury to Rhys James really makes us feel like ah, now we are going to suffer again because when Rhys James is playing in the field, it's like when Golo Kante used to play back then, of which Golo Kante is also another player who is injured who could have helped us in this game, but we didn't have his services and Rhys James also Ben Chilwell. Those are very crucial players to the Chelsea team and even the formation that is being played right now. That's why you could see Loftus stick on the wing, Sterling, sometimes Pulisic, sometimes, uh, uh, I don't know, sometimes uh, Havert trying to play as wingers, so fullbacks. So I think uh, our star players are injured. It, oh, uh, I had forgotten about Kovacic. So I think it's a major blow to us, but maybe over time we shall find ways on how to tackle that problem. Maybe we, our scouts should do more work on how to look for replacements for Ben Chilwell, replacements for... Okay, we have a replacement for Ben Chilwell, but it's not being used rightly. Uh, maybe a replacement for Rhys James. Uh, we really need a, a good holding midfielder and a good attacking midfielder who creates a good a good player who creates many many chances so uh, those are the reasons as to why i think we lost the game today it was so frustrating to watch i'm just a fan with opinions so any day anytime stay tuned for newcastle game against chelsea in the midweek but i really think we should also be waiting for another beating because i think newcastle are too good right now and they are going to be they, we are going to be thrashed in the midweek also it's sad to state that i really i also think that we are going to be eliminated in the carabao cup if we keep playing the, in the same way the same system with the same players it's so sad that way i really thought we could be having different opinions and different approaches towards the game because we have now a new coach so any day any time stay tuned Welcome back to the fans' opinion next time. Tell a friend to tell a friend any day, anytime. It's me, your boy Moshe. Peace.